Good morning, dear student. Today is the date of 6th of August and day is Tuesday. I am going to teach you the new topic in grammar. The name of that topic is phrases. So, first of all, I am going to tell you the definition of phrase. A phrase is a group of related words within a sentence. In the previous lesson, uh, we had learned the uh, definition of sentence. You know what is the meaning of sentence? Sentence is a group of words which make complete sense. So, now I am going to tell you the example of phrase. I saw a tall girl. Here in this sentence, a tall girl is the phrase. So, once again, I repeat. A phrase is a group of related words within a sentence. These are the group of words. Okay. So, do you understand what is the meaning of phrase? Now, main point is a phrase can be found at the beginning, middle or end of a sentence. Here in this sentence, we found this phrase at the end of a sentence. Okay. Do you understand? Here in this sentence, we got this phrase, a tall girl in the at the end of a sentence. Next point is, a phrase may not contain a subject or a verb or both. Thus, a phrase may have a meaning but it does not convey a complete thought. A tall girl, it is the small example. Here, no complete thought. Next, a sentence may contain more than one phrase. For example, a tall girl was standing near me. In this sentence, three phrases are there. A tall girl is the one phrase. Second one is was standing is the another phrase. Second phrase, third phrase is near me. In this full sentence, we got three phrases. First one is a tall girl. Second one is was standing. And third one is near me. Here one sentence example is there. A tall girl was standing near me. It is the complete one sentence only but in this one sentence we found three phrases so now i will teach you in detail the kinds of phrases first of all do you understand the definition of phrase a phrase is a group of related words within a sentence now i will going to teach you the kinds of phrases first one is noun phrase second one is word phrase third one is preposition once again i repeat kinds of phrases noun phrase Word fresh, prepositional fresh. Now we will see in detail first of all definition of noun phrase. A noun phrase begins with a noun or a pronoun or other related words. But before going to teach you the definition of noun phrase, I am going to clear the definition of noun. You know what in the previous lesson last year we had learned the definition of noun. Noun is a word, noun is the name of a a person, place, animal or thing. And what is the meaning of pronoun? A pronoun is a word instead of a noun. For example, I, you, he, she, it, they, we. Okay, it is, it is clear. Now, example is that magnificent house was built by my great grandfather. This is the example of noun phrase. So, you know what is the meaning of the noun phrase? A noun phrase begins with a noun or a pronoun or other related word here this sentence is uh, beginning with that magnificent house here noun phrase is that magnificent and noun is house house is the name of a place now we will see in detail noun phrase what are the main things are there in the noun phrase determiners plus noun or the modifiers plus noun or determiners plus modifier modifiers plus noun so we will see with uh, with the help of this example of noun phrase once again i repeat the definition of noun phrase a noun phrase begins with a noun or a pronoun or other related words now seen we will see in detail the child here here the is the determiner and child is the noun next tall child tall is the modifier and child is the noun the tall child the is the determiner, tall is the modifier and child is the noun. Now, dear student, do you understand the, def the term of noun phrase? Now, next, we will see in detail. Second kind is verb phrase. What is the meaning of the verb? Verb is the action word. Action words are state. For example, cry, love, sit. These are the example of verb. Uh, now I am going to tell you the definition of verb phrase. A verb phrase is a combination of the main verb and the helping verbs in a sentence. 
Now example is the barking of the dog did not disturb others except me in the house. In this sentence which is the verb phrase did not disturb is the verb phrase. Here the combination of helping verbs and main verb are called the verb phrase. So which is the verb phrase? Uh, which is the helping verb? Helping verb is did. Which is the main verb? Main verb is disturb. So we will see in detail. Some main points were phrase, helping verbs plus main verb or helping verb plus modifiers plus main verb. So, uh, I am going to explain uh, with the help of some examples. First example is has been lying. Has is the helping verb and lying is the main verb. So, do you understand what are the examples of the verb phrase? Here combination of two verbs, main verb and helping verbs. Here has been is the helping verb, lying is the Lying is the main verb. Second example is has not being lying. Has is the helping verb. Not is the modifier. Been is the helping verb. Lying is the main verb. Do you understand the whole term of verb phrase? Verb phrase. Once again I repeat. A verb phrase is a combination of the main verb and the helping verb in a sentence. Third one is prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and ends with a noun or a pronoun. Once again, I repeat the definition of prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and the ends with a noun or a pronoun. Then I will explain through an example with the help of example. The example is my uncle Ranjit and his wife Radha are doctors at a private hospital. They are they are the doctors at the private hospital. So here which is the prepositional phrase in this sentence? Prepositional phrase is at a private hospital. In, uh, in this phrase which is the verb? At is the verb. Which is the noun? Hospital is the noun. Hospital is the name of a place. Now uh, I will teach you some points in the prepositional phrase. Preposition plus object of the preposition. Noun or noun phrase. In the box. In the box. This is the example. In the box. Which is the preposition. In is the preposition. The box is the noun phrase. Here is the combination of verb or noun. Verb. Here is the combination of preposition or noun phrases. Now a phrase is made up of words that revolve around the main words called the head word the head word determines the nature of a phrase so every phrase has a head word you know what every phrase every phrase has a head word a phrase is a name of after its head word which is the most important word used in the phrase so now we will see uh, this uh, we will prove this um, point with an example most of the villagers have assembled for the meeting assembled for the meeting they are gathered for the meeting means here which is the head word assembled assembled is the head word which is the head word here for is the head word which is the verb phrase verb phrase is have assembled noun phrase is most of the villagers is the noun phrase have assembled is the verb phrase for the meeting is the prepositional phrase. Three phrases we are uh, seeing in this one example. So these are the kinds of the phrases. Noun phrase, verb phrase and prepositional phrase. Next, uh, remember, don't forget this main point. A group of related words with a noun or pronoun. Noun and pronoun verb pair is a clause and not a phrase. Here, one, one proof I am going to tell you. Before school, reopen. Here, school is the noun and reopened is the verb. And this whole is the clause. Okay, do you understand this proof? Next proof is sleeping all night. Here, this is the phrase. And previous is the, uh, we had uh, learned this clause and this is the phrase. Do you understand the difference between clause and phrase? Here, no noun and pronoun verb pair. Which, where it is? It is in 